Considered one of Hollywood's biggest nights, Jimmy Kimmel is set to host for the third time. The Academy called him a safe choice this year. WFAA's Teresa Woodard spoke with Jimmy about what we can expect on Sunday night. The Oscars came calling and Jimmy Kimmel did not immediately answer. He's hosted twice before and it took over his family's lives for months. So he did not tell his wife about the invitation for a week. I said, um, I need to talk to you about something. And she got a little bit nervous. And uh, she's like, what? Because I never need to talk about anything. And I said, uh, they asked me to host the Oscars again. And she said, oh, that's great. The Academy says the audience feels safe with Kimmel. And that's exactly what's needed after that Will Smith, Chris Rock slap one year ago. Wow. So this year, the Oscars created a crisis team. Kimmel laughingly told me he doesn't even know what the crisis team is. I'm going to guess it's not as impressive as it sounds. I think you might ma imagine men in vests dressed all in black repelling from the ceiling. But uh, my guess is probably it's going to be a few accountants or lawyers standing in the back with folders. Inside is the 95th Oscars, a three hour celebration. Of <laughs> three hours, right. A three hour celebration of cinema. As WFAA's weekend anchor, who will be patiently waiting to deliver the news once the Oscars end, I had to ask, how long is this show going to go? Let me put you this way, Teresa. Wear pajamas. Bring a pillow, bring a sleep mask, bring that white noise machine you keep by the bed. Bring it all because it's going late. In Dallas, I'm Teresa Woodard. And here's a reminder, the Oscars are right here on WFAA Sunday at 7 p.m. And the following morning, it's a special Oscars edition of Daybreak. You won't want to miss that.